All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Portugal. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I'll try to keep the shuffling down to a dull roar here for any of you wearing earbuds. But as I just started the video, I was thinking to myself, this is a little bit appropriate for the next couple of years. This There's dark here and then this light space over here. We are shifting from one type of world into another type of world. The consciousness level is going to be off the hook. It's going to be very different. And no matter where you are right now, a year from now, you're going to be somewhere very, very different. And I'm going to talk more about that. I'm going to make a recording for you guys, my astrology group this week, about 2025. And this is really the dividing line between the energy that we've been experiencing and this new level of consciousness. 2025 is the year. All right. So let's get into this morning's reading. If you're part of my astrology group this week, you're going to get that video. I'll be talking more about it um, as we go through the week this week. Spiritual cleansing, no doubt about that. Past life, divine feminine, been talking about that for a long time, and focus. So there is some kind of co um, cosmic, karmic clearing happening this week as it relates to the divine feminine. Uh, I've been seeing this for a while. There's some kind of purge going on for you. If you're releasing and letting go of a lot of relationships right now, or even just the person you used to be, right? Even just this, you know what? This wardrobe doesn't suit me. I'm going to completely change everything. Uh, this way of living doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to change everything. Um, between now and the end of next year, we have every planet changing signs. Moving from earth and water into air and fire, going from feminine energy into masculine energy. And that says to me, the rise of the divine feminine is certainly happening right now. And it's a divine feminine who is balanced. So the masculine is a prominent part of their energetic signature and it is spiritually cleansed. It is a lighter, higher vibe than we've experienced any of us, any of us up until now. King of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. This is like, okay, everybody, you got, you know, your head down, you're kind of making decisions, you're, you know, doing your life, you're doing what you're doing. And what's really trying to come in is this time of change, this two of wands. Like you might be trying to make some changes in your life and you just feel like nothing is sticking or you can't engage, you can't kind of get it there. Like it just feels like there's something sitting on your chest right now. Um, there are messages trying to come through. Let's, let's dive in. All right, there are messages trying to come through right now I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I don't want to shuffle that because I already have. So what are the messages that are coming in? This could show up in terms of people in your life. Like look at the relationship symbolically. Don't look at them literally like, well, this is an old boyfriend or this is my friend from high school or this is my mom or something. Don't look at them that way. Look at them archetypally. Like my relationship with my mother is all about... Um, going from the old world to the new world. It's all about a new kind of femininity, a new kind of divine feminine energy appearing. Um, it can be, um, if there is some kind of old love relationships that's relationships that are surfacing now, you may have had this experience over the past few years, like every single old boyfriend, we used to call them the Finks, every single old boyfriend shows up. Certainly has for me. Over the past eight years or so, it's incredible. It's like, okay, is there anybody left? Like, I feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like there's anybody left who isn't showing themselves. That's right. Ace of Swords. So the message that wants to come through is about authenticity. There are going to be real feelings expressed now from here on out. Hanged man and the world. One more, please. Queen of Swords. So there's definitely messages coming through about 
feelings, about love, about the way things are expressed. And I feel like some of you have been dealing with people who are kind of manipulative or kind of like never really saying what they truly feel. They're just kind of like expecting you to get it. They expect you just to know what it is, what they're feeling or whatever. It's very unfair, okay? It's a very unfair thing. You might also be um, kind of in that camp of like, well, I can't, I don't understand why they can't just get it, why they can't just see that this is so wrong, that this is like not a good thing to do to another person or something like that. Um, I feel like you're in the works right now of hammering out a new, a new path forward in terms of love, Divine Feminine, definitely doing that. Remember last week I was talking quite a bit about standing clear of the blast zone with your twin flame. And <clears throat> this makes me feel like there's going to be conversations now. I don't know if that blast has taken place yet or not. So let's see what the reading shows us. Nine of Cups. The Sun. King of Pentacles. Oh, yes. A new kind of happiness. A new kind of um, stability coming through hang uh sorry high priestess Ooh, there's that five of swords five of cups uh i just want you to say to yourself you are correct there's something going on right now that is causing you to be kind of like i don't really believe this person or seeing a pattern or something like that that maybe you never saw it before right but the universe is trying to like like tapping you on the shoulder and going hey this is a pattern this is something that you have kind of like let slide or you haven't really, um, you haven't really gone down the road of exploring something. And I feel like there's something manipulative here, the five of swords and the five of cups. So some of you, um, there's a couple of things you can do with, in, in respect to relationships. Like you might've had some, some patterns. You're like, Hey, I'm, you know, I'm purging that out of my life. I'm not doing those patterns anymore. That's great. A new person comes along. What's different? What's different? How are you being different with this person? So one of the things you can do is slow down. I don't mean about, I don't even mean about sex. I just, okay, that's part of it. But I just mean in terms of the, the quicker, how fast do you like somebody? Do you in a, like a first date, are you like a fall in love in a first date? You know, just because someone has potential doesn't mean they're the right person. So I want you to really pay attention to how fast you let yourself like somebody, not even fall in love, just like them. Because as soon as you like them, then you're kind of like on their side and you're, if there's any red flags, you really blow them off. Cause you're like, I, it's not that you don't want to be wrong about this person, but you could have had a lot of loss or a lot of bad situations for yourself. And it's like, it just feels so good to be happy. So what you're learning here is you're starting to, number one, you're starting to see people more clearly, but number two, I want you to recognize that your happiness comes from within, whether this person is here or not. I want you to start really focusing on building happiness from within. I don't want you to like, um, you know, I, I'm here in Portugal and we're going to be doing a lot of the Camino de Santiago. And I've been, I'm part of a big Facebook group. And I read a post while I was on the plane where this woman was like, how do y'all stand yourselves? I traveled by myself to do this and I'm just... So I don't get it. Like, I don't want to spend, I don't want to go to dinner with me. I don't want to, I'm like, really? And you, you expect us to go to dinner with you? If you don't even want to go to dinner with you, then what are you talking about? Okay. Um, I regularly spend full weekends on my own. I love my own company. I travel on my own a lot. It's no big deal. I get, I have a little anxiety about making sure I get to the right place, you know, before time runs out. 
<laughs> right? Like, oh my God, um, I've got to make sure I get to that plane on time. But it's not, that's not the same thing as like, I don't want to spend time with me. Who would want to spend time with me? If that's your, the way you're talking about yourself, then of course, okay, you might be attracting in people who are, you're, you're ex, you know, externalizing your happiness too much. And it's great to have someone in your life and be, you know, um, be in love and feel those feelings and all of that. But that doesn't, it actually is so much better when you do have this for yourself. And, you know, if you're externalizing your happiness, that means that you're not, um, you're, you could be going down too much people pleasing road, right? Like where you don't want to have you don't want to bring something up because what if this goes away and then all my happiness goes away? You cannot put your eggs in one basket like this. No pun intended. So seven of wands, the hierophant, and the lover's card. This is a new kind of... I feel like you're clearing a lot of past life karma. This is a new path where you're the one who's calling the shots or you're the one um i don't know if you've ever heard the phrase like the one who cares least wins which is totally ego driven that's not really what i'm talking about but there's something here about letting yourself go really really slow because when you let yourself go really really slow a couple of things happen number one if that other person gets angry about it that's a red flag Okay, uh, let yourself go slow so you can see the red flags. If you, um, part, of the, part of the reason why you go slow is that you're not invested in this yet. Okay, and I'm just seeing, it's interesting that it's the king of pentacles because when, the, when, the, when somebody good comes along that you want to invest time and energy in, you're gonna need to be this full person. Nine of cups, the sun, and the king of pentacles, sorry. And that's going to be part of this new expanded level of consciousness all of this stuff is going to be happening at the same time i feel like the universe is kind of tapping you on the shoulder about this one particular lesson that you're having that says hey you know people who are predators people who are narcissistic or um, um sociopaths or psychopaths even um that makes up you know, not an insignificant part of the population, 10%. I was watching a video the other day, makes up 10% of the population. That's a lot. One in 10 people, okay, have some serious uh, personality disorder. And you, if you're really not trusting yourself, those people know it. And they're like, yep, you're my mark. Because if you don't trust your own intuition, which is why we're doing this in the in the Pathfinder group, um, to start trusting yourself again. Because if you if you take on a relationship and you don't trust yourself to really feel or connect with the person on an authentic level, within the space of two years, this is the astrology talking now, within the space of two years, we will very easily see other people with agendas. Very easily. That's why it's coming up for us to really pay attention to our own intuition. It's time for us to really uh, get that, get our own authenticity, fall in love with ourselves, all of that, because then y'all as the divine feminine are really on the forefront of this new movement over the next two years. This is going to be a, a, a quantum leap in terms of seeing through the veil, seeing other people for who they truly are and vice versa. They're going to see us. They're going to see all of what we are. And so it's really time to take stock, take stock. Okay. And I feel like some of you are really shifting your opinions or your feelings about what a good relationship is. I think a lot of people don't even have that conversation with each other. Like what's your, what's your standard? Think about that. I didn't have that relation. I didn't have that conversation with my ex-husband before we got married. What, you know, what does it look like? 
What does a good relationship look like? I think people get so far down a road. It's like, I don't know when to have that conversation because if I say it too early, then this person's going to get scared off that I'm going too fast. Um, if I wait and wait, then I have a vested interest. That's why I'm saying to you, slow F, the F down, please. Because I like this Taurus energy and I like this Gemini energy. This is about decisions and data and things like that coming from a joyful place. Now, I see the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups here. You've been wrong in the past. A lot of us have. Ten of Wands, there's people pleasing. Knight of Wands, there's um, kind of hit it and quit it guy. Page of Wands, all right, Seven of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. So this is um, the Ten of Pentacles together, right? Seven and three. There's something here about really going slowly. Um, having partners who are very immature or really seeing through your facade that um, you're too trusting or you're not able to discern, you know, who's, who's uh, got some stuff going on, who's got some agendas, you're not really able to see it. And so that's why, you know, when we talk about like, don't go looking, you know, don't go looking for the narcissist because every single one has a slightly different flavor to them. So you'll never be able to tell 100%. Your job is to correct your relationship with yourself so that you trust yourself. And I've said this before too, when we when uh, the government looks at counterfeit bills, trying to catch counterfeiters, people printing money, they don't go out there and look at all the fakes. They look at the one real deal. They look at the real bill. They know it inside and out. They know what it, you know, all of your senses, touch, taste, sense, smell, all of it. They know exactly what the real bill is, the real deal. This is coming up again and again and again. This is a past life karmic um, connection. So this could be a, an individual person who keeps coming back to you or just a pattern that keeps coming back. This story keeps showing up, okay? I keep seeing this kind of story. So let me um, just look at this for a second. I like the King of Pentacles showing up and I almost feel like that's you. There's a sense that I am unshakable, right? I am unstoppable. Open your, oh, let's see, open your heart, set loving boundaries. That's that seven of wands right there. Karmic relationship, releasing the past for sure. Remember your identity. You can do it. This is about falling in love with yourself, remembering who you are, compassion, higher heart opening. That's where we're going, that new level of consciousness. So let's keep going with this reading. If this is for you, uh, there's a link in the description box below. I'm going to look at what you don't see coming. I'm going to get some guidance and I'm going to dive into this karmic relationship thing. I also want to see who this King of Pentacles is. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you.